play. Olivia Nilsson Adota, right? And then just coming into frame there is Avina Westbrook. Check out those two players. You're going to see Beckers will pass the ball to Nelson Adota. Now, look, she goes down here, Westbrook, because she knows she's got 5'7", Maya Jackson guarding her. I love the way she posts up. Here she is, right? Noticing that her defender is much smaller and then just aggressively turns strong and kisses it off the glass. Great play by the junior. So Avita Westbrook, four points, two of two from the floor tonight. Huskies now have already scored in this second quarter as many points as they scored in all of quarter number one. Three-point Seton Hall lead, though. Edwards, post up, pass goes through her hands. Got to catch the ball before you turn. Ten Maya Bembry in there defending Edwards for Seton Hall. And so here is Lauren Park Lane. One of five from the floor in this game versus the torrid shooting pace she had in the game in December. Calling for a screen. Smith. Rebound Westbrook. End to end. That was cruel. Around and out, but Aliyah Edwards with the tip. Huskies get a reset. That was a nice aggressive take by Westbrook. Shot clock running walk. down. They'll call a travel on. Yeah, Westbrook. she did walk. It's amazing how many walk calls have been called tonight already. We've seen it in spurts this season. It's been the flavor of the year. Besides COVID. Yeah, well, that too. I was trying to keep it positive, you know? <laughs> there we go. That is going to be a turnover by, oh, it was a five-second call. Turnover by the Pirates. <laughs> Coach Pazella. <laughs> He's hilarious. Great guy to talk to. Really engaging. Aliyah Edwards, speaking of five seconds, moves the ball. There you go. There's Beckers over the top of Park Lane. Aubrey Griffin and Edwards both crash for rebounds. Nice job by Edwards to just find a way to find the ball and put it in. Some nights it's really difficult on the offensive end. The entire seat hall bench jumped and screamed at the same time. Griffin on the floor. Westbrook on the run. Got it. I mean, that was all because of the, the aggressiveness of Aubrey Griffin diving on the floor. Huskies take the lead. Park Lane defended by Griffin. Runs into the traffic, gets her own rebound. And they'll get another shot at it. This is Maya Bembry. Shot clock running out, goes up and gets some rim. But off the mark with the shot and Aubrey Griffin with the rebound. 14-2 run for UConn over the last four minutes. Nika Mule, Aubrey Griffin crashing again for another rebound, but out of bounds off of UConn. How about this? Diving on the floor. Wanted the ball more than anybody else. And that made it possible for Westbrook to get the breakaway layup. And Gino just took out Paige Beckers because he's a little bit frustrated with her right now. I think she's frustrated. She didn't shoot that last possession. And I understand why she didn't. I think she's a little frustrated offensively with herself. They're all a little stagnant. She's missed some shots. But he doesn't want her to stop shooting. Page 3 of 8 in the game, 0 for 2 from outside. Here's Espinosa Hunter. Now Smith working on Westbrook. Edwards comes over to help, but Smith got the shot up. Mule just out of control. Too fast, too soon. Westbrook will knock that away from Smith and out of bounds off of UConn. 
Gary Apple and Kara Walters have the first half highlights and analysis coming up shortly on the UConn Women's Basketball Halftime Show presented by Ford. One point Seton Hall lead. What surprises you most about this game so far, Meg? Uh, I just think UConn's stagnant offense, um, but as Espinosa Hunter makes a really nice spin move, you know, you have to give Seton Hall credit. They're second place in the league. Uh, they're a scrappy defensive team. They're incredibly well coached. And they're a very different ball club than the one UConn saw back in December. Edwards tried to kick the Williams. The pass was too wide for her to reach. Well, what a teammate Kristen Williams is getting the ball underneath the bleachers <laughs> yeah, yeah. for the officials. That's <laughs> going the extra mile. All right. Three points. Seton Hall lead. Nelson Madota heading for the table to check back in. A minute and a half to go. Shot from outside. Too strong for Melbourne. Griffin with the rebound. Aubrey, three rebounds. And a fourth. And a putback. Nice again. Aubrey Griffin. Just making things happen. You know, impacting the game. Offensive rebound and putback. There's Amari Wright. Kicks it out to Maya Jackson. Kristen Williams defending there. Espinosa Hunter too strong to the rim. Foul underneath. Aubrey Griffin. Called for it as Elmore hit the floor hard. Oh wow, she pushed her hard. <laughs> Almost looked like she tripped coming into the traffic. I thought Avina Westbrook came in there looking to get the ball, a little extra contact. Handed right to Nika Mule. Pass behind Westbrook. You know, Kristen you, Williams there on the you floor. You just can't get too fancy, you know? Yeah. One on two, and then you try to throw a no-look pass, and it goes right to the other team. So Paige Beckers comes to the table to check back into the ball game. It'll be Mule that will come out. Des Elmore will come out for Seton Hall after that hard spill she took a minute ago. Aubrey Griffin in traffic, could not get the shot to go. Half a minute to go in this first half. Aubrey Griffin is pretty quick, but to watch Park Lane dribble right past her, I've seen it happen a couple times. It just shows you how exponentially quick Park Lane is. Yeah, she, she will move. And for one of the smaller players on the court, if not the smallest, she goes fast to the rim like that, knocked away. And Beckers will touch the sideline, the end line, trying to get the ball. And it'll be Seton Hall's ball with one second to shoot. And she comes up grimacing. Not sure why. Knocked away by Kristen Williams. And that'll be a shot clock violation. And UConn will have the ball with 6.3 seconds to go in this first half, trailing by one. Let's see if they if they run a better play than they did at the end of the first quarter. Yeah. Beckers off the Nelson Adota screen, throws one up. No. And that will be how quarter number two will 